guys, Juan here. Today we are back for another video. I'm going to play two table of Zoom 300, so let's dive into the action. Uh, issue of here, close defense. Um, is five, is four, should depend on two X. H3 is close. Ace eight here, I'm going to call. You're not really happy with the top pair here against somebody betting pre quarter because it's often draws that have a lot of equity or two per plus. But the reason why I'm calling is because I can bluff clubs uh, diamonds right now because I expect them to check too much with a standish jockey when he's king when the diamond come and the ones that check the turn. It's a bet three quarter on the flop. Uh, I'm sure she doesn't have a flush, so I can bluff diamonds right now. So why is that probably? Otherwise, probably you can. And on the river, I'm probably going to check and see what he does. Uh, and like queen jack, yeah, I don't expect him to reopen the action support from the river, so. When the air region is betting the sizing, it's actually great for me. But it's actually rare to see these hands. In general, you will see way more hands like East 97. But I'm not surprised because the fact they play these spots against the three quarter or currents, uh, people having bluffs of like 100 bluffs possible, and people having value of probably only like a skinish queen and two plus in the sizing. So if I face like. Uh, an average of one guy bluffing, one guy not bluffing. I'll, I'll face more of the guy uh, bluffing, which has way more combo. Strange. But this is why I think you can follow this ball texture with top pair against the node here. Anyway, uh, Ace King, um, I have three bets. I'm going to bet small on this flop. King Nine on this flop. Uh, you can play with multiple strategy, big um, around half bot, small is also fine. I play with the big sizing here. Ace King can call on the turn now. I have a good Ace King combo actually. I'm, I'm blocking the A6 of Diamond. And um, here, I, I think I have a sweet free brawl on diamonds run out, and I'll probably give up on non diamond run out because I, I can win against some ace queen now. And now it's actually <laughs> really tempting to bluff. We don't block his five suited, so it's not a huge problem. Uh, now, the question is does he really fall jacks, tens, and nines? I mean, it depends. The only problem here is with my nickname in general, people tend not to fall too much. So I'm gonna check here, my EV of the check is, is already high, so let's lose against nines or something. 10 nine of diamond, yeah. But this is also why you can barrel in like his king. And 10 nine of diamonds just to fall on a turn. Um he can call his hand. If you have a like Queen Jack and Queen, I understand the call a bit more because now you have way more equity against the part of my value region, like tens and nines. But here I, I feel just this end out of position should just be full. I just have the 5k table just in case uh fish pops out. Uh, I can click and I can play. 8-7, I'm going to check, and King-7, I open this guy call. So, it's an aggressive guy, um, so I, I believe he will just have way too many bluffs, so two ways to deal with this situation. Uh, it's either you call and lead, or you just raise on the turn. When I raise the turn here, I expect 5-4 to bet on the flop, so his value region is basically only 6s, and he has all the bluffs available, so I'll prefer to play this way. 8-7 here, I'm probably going to check my hand right now 10 is not even good and yeah my hand feels a bit too weak after the check race to continue and king seven now mm, this is not an easy spot i think i'm just going to check here i'm calling if he bets because the only value on here is five four at this point uh and if he bets really big a 10 is not going to bet deciding so yeah i'm gonna make the sick error call here <laughs> this one is crazy and i swear if it doesn't go for i'll still be on youtube but the reason why I call the Oli is she's not jumping SI, and his only value region is 5-4. I don't think 5-4 is making the sizing. I already saw that he was really aggressive, so just, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna call and close my eyes here on this one. Ooh, let's go! I, I said it before, if, if it was not going through, I, I, will not, I will put it on YouTube. I, I think just his only value region is 5-4. I think 5-4 doesn't take the sizing, so it, it makes him more oriented towards the bluffing region, and if he has the bluff region too much, and I can win. Um, the EV is all the best. I'm, I'm happy about this call. That's cool. Uh, Jack 10 here. I'm going to fold against Supon 5. Uh, 6 4. I'm going to jump here. He's not in the end anymore. When people check back at a certain frame, uh, it just means they're not in the pot. And it was this frame, so I just, just go in. I can just like check the turn, check end by the river. It will not change anything. Um, here in this guy, I'm going to call four bet here. I'm not gonna do super big. I think small sizing pairs for me really well. In general, people are extremely afraid of aces. They play a bit too passively, which means they are going to play aggressively like the aces kings region in general against the sizing. So um when he called post slot, I'm I'm often good here. 
Um, I'm gonna bet five. I think five is great. Also, the only problem is five. If you start raising with more, but I don't think it will happen. Like my range is quite protected with the aces. Nine five here. I'm going to open the button. It's a bit wider, but in general, it's not true all the time. People under three bets a little bit in the big line, so this type of close open makes money. Like my my, my skill compensate the the loss we have in theory here. And also, I, I made the king seven only call because i only had information this guy bet for quarter on the flop and also something interesting is he didn't give up um on the river of queen jack directly he, he thought about it so it means he's a player that is capable of bluffing multiple streets and put money in the pot it's also why i call and it's, it's an important metric to see how much time it takes sometimes with the hand because he can learn you what they think about it, uh, what they think about in the spots. Because if someone, for example, don't bet at all on the river and doesn't want to bluff a, a certain name, I can make a conclusion on his profi profile way faster. King Jack here, I'm going to... I'm going to bet one third here. Recheck back on the flop. Um, I should check a lot on this ball because con really connected ball like this is really bad for you. I'm going to check my roll range. They will have the best end super often here. I'm gonna bet five here, I think we go by eight or something like this. Basically, I'm going to bet really small. This is SPR. I will gain all the money in an ace. So now I'm just trying to get called by the air region. I think it's where my money come from. We go by sixes. This is also the plan. I think the checking back region will be too oriented towards pocket pairs. As it shouldn't really have too much pocket pairs because most of them should bet on the flop. Okay, he called. And uh, now I will bet around 13. Just get called by an ace or rice paid i will also make coins like five and sixes and i think when he snap jump probably have a falls no I'll probably have a call yeah this is a shitty situation i expect flushes to slow play so he will have better ends for sure but i don't think he can fall his king against uh yeah but he will raise his queen is jack region that's sick i think i need to call against the rag but i'm gonna lose a decent amount of the time here uh, honestly i think the call is really really close I, I, I know, like we saw it, and uh, now it becomes a super easy call. But um, you see, it was actually full. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. No, I, I think it's um, it's really close here because uh, most people will never do this with this type of hands and will only jump ends that are better than me because Ace Jack is Queen raised on the flop, so and the call is nine, so they basically have two pairs and sets and stuff. Uh, but at this SPR against an unknown wreck. I think you should need to call, but the call is not that plusive actually. 7-5 here, a decent end to be in the big sizing. Uh, I'm going to play with two sizing here. On this turn, a uh, really good cut for me. I'm going to play with the pot. The reason why I don't want to overbet is uh, I'm a little bit too afraid the pool is going to jump all the queen 10 combos. So I prefer to play with this sizing so I can call a race. And she knows I will at least think about it or race with queen 10. So if they call a bit too fast, yeah, I'll jump all the outs. Close to all the outs. Uh, king queen against three quarter. Um, it's an okay sizing on the spot. 10-8-6 uh, is not like 6-7-8, uh, for example. Um, so he can have some big sizing here. It's fine. Even if like the ball is a straight, I don't have too many straights. And also it's different between the differences between um six seven eight and ten six eight or the fact that on ten eight six the board is less connected and also uh, only two cars on the turn makes it straight compared to four uh, on super connected board. I'm gonna call it four just because this guy is in the pot. And against two X here, five is a call in a small blind. Against two point five, not have a calling range, but against two X here. Uh, I know it's not something people do often, but you, you, you kind of have to have a, a calling range. Just means that some money makes money when you call, so I prefer to call. Pocket fives. I'm going to raise really small here. I'm going to go for the unorthodox sizing. Because I feel when the bet so fast for one third, you don't really think about this their end, so it's more likely to be a weekend, which doesn't mean you can call here. I call it a really big punch. You just need to make to put money in the pot with fives. And the two way of doing it is either check raise or you call and lead small. The reason why you want to lead small is because you are going to make raise the stronger region. So you can directly put money more money on the turn. Uh, by clicking after or just going all in and also if you do something to call and also you just make call by all the air regions it's a play that works well against rex but i will not do it with fives i'll do it with uh ends that are not good enough to raise on the flop uh but are good enough to bet the turn previous year i'm just going to call in three quarter and three want to raise the same and i want to check check super fast um i will just check back i don't want to get jammed on and just feel his range is really Jackie Xavier. I can make all this later anyway. So I'm gonna check. Give it 
Yeah, I think we just lost. No, I'm gonna fold. Okay, pocket kings here. I'm going to four bets. Okay, can call. Jack nine four. I'm gonna go for buff saving here, like one quarter and alpha pot is okay. I think alpha pot is a bit more appropriate. However, I think they don't call enough the alpha pot saving, so I'll just don't side with kings and I'll bet one quarter. Uh, the turn is a nice, uh, which is not really good for us, but uh, I block his king and shouldn't call too many ace queen on the flop, so I think I'm still bet with kings actually. Really, really close. Yeah, let, let, let's check kings here. He also have aces in his range sometimes. King queen against half pots. So I'm going to play this uh, super well. I'm going to call. Okay. And now I expect his range to be either Queenix. So when I lead super small, he will raise. Or pocket bird will check back. Or air. Air is often going to check back. Nobody's probably with air. It's too rare. So I want to make call the air region or raise. Call the pocket bird and be raised by lower Queenix. With kings here, I'm going to call. Ah, this is super well sizing on the turn. Uh, just saying that uh, is. Please, I want to check back or please uh, call because I'm going to jam all the time. Uh, it feels more the second option, to be honest. And on the king queen, he often have a pocket pair right now. I think Alphabot is decent enough. I don't represent too many ends, so I believe he will be quite suspicious with ends like pocket six, pocket fives. I can also done size here because when you bet smaller, you can rescue the H jack in region. And on the river, I think I'm just folding. Um, well, it doesn't represent so much value. And I don't think Ace-King is playing with this bet sizing on the world first of all, even if I don't have too many flush draws. So basically tell me he has nines, jacks, or aces. But in general, when people disarticulate the bet sizing, which means they are going to bet extremely small and really big, or like really big and really small, in general, they are always have it. Uh, I don't expect uh, people to play value in this way, because uh, they are a bit scared to represent less sense. So I'm going to ask for, for YouTube. And I'll be wrong sometimes. Okay, he showed an ace. Okay, nice from uh, him. King and nine. I'm gonna bet two here. I think when you bet really small, I can raise an ace more often. And what I want to do is uh, getting something out the air region here in the spots because I feel I'm going to take anything to an ace anyway. Like, I'm not gonna take anything all the time, but if somebody is calling like half pot two third and all in, he's also calling two three quarter and all in. And now, um, just feel like give ups or wear a6. So I'm gonna bet half pot here. A bit lower. Yeah, eight is probably a bit better. Let's see what he does. Okay, he called. He often have an ace. Yeah, he often has an ace. I really want to call this to see his end. <laughs> I'm really curious about what he has right now. I'm just going to go in here. Last moments. Let's see what he does. I'll say ace 10. Played super well. In. If I bet like half pot or more, I don't think he's leading this season. Man, yeah, he fold. Ace is here. I'm gonna bet small here. I don't want him to fold. I think he mainly have a pocket pair play this way. And sometimes when you bet six, they raise the Queen's region. So. And also sometimes they raise the shit region. Where I don't expect people to call enough on free streets. Uh, I'll play with this type of move. I call the turn. And now please give me all the money you have with 7 8 to prove my point. Uh, Queen 4, check back on this flop. Uh, I'm not really happy when you bet free quarter. So I'm still going to call. And on the river. Uh, fully folding. Okay, I'm going to check. I'm gonna check back. King Queen. Okay, and now with aces. Mm. <laughs> that would be so funny if we lose against sixes. He can also have ends like four five. I think when he plays so polar, actually, I can't really. Blocking his queen, I can't really raise. I think I'm level of value, so I'm gonna call against. Okay, you know what? I, I think I lose. <laughs> Honestly, I think I lose here. No, I win. Okay, surprising. Acing and small sizing now. It will be really close. Um. I think my end is lower in is lower EV compared to Terry because I mean he know I have a skin, so it's going to be way more complicated to play. I'm gonna follow you with the as a forward. You call with the diamonds, the key of spade is not good. Queen 10, I'm gonna check back. So a6 4 should be played as around small and check. You can also have a range bet strategy. I think you play lower than 500 now, it's fine. Around this turn, you should play with um like over bets, pre-quarter. Maybe some small bets. Small bets will be better on rainbow boards. And queen 10 here. Can go either way. I'm gonna check. I prefer to bet with a hurt yet just to block poles and raised. And also to have a good bluff on personal, for example. And now on the river, I uh, think this end is just a bluff right now against the pool. I'm gonna bet around. I think three is fine. Even half pots. The setting I will do with 10 strikes queens often. So I like the half pots. It's really tough for him to call King Jack and all the King A region in the pocket first. I think it's a powerful line for the pool. 10 8 I bet big on the flop. I'm gonna check the turn 9, call any reverse. 
Now he has way too many King Jack, Queen Jack, Jack Eight, Queen Eight, and people just bluff them way too much. And when he check, he often has an I beat. So I'm gonna value bet. And in terms of sizing, I'm gonna bot trying to get called by something. He will have better techniques sometimes, but I expect them to bet super often. Uh, pocket Queens, I uh, free bet to bot check eight seven. Not a really good bot for you, especially as deep. Uh, even if it sounds really weird and very counterintuitive, when you play deeper, you have more bets out of position in free bet bots. So if you know the answers, just tell me in the comments and uh, I'll tell you if you're right or if you're wrong. Uh, pocket Queens on the turn. I'm gonna check again. I don't feel I win so much by betting the turn right now. So I actually prefer to check. Yeah, it's exactly what I want. So we might think with Queens you want to slow play. It's not gonna be the case so often. I still think here is uh, a bit mandatory. So I'm going to play this as a call. I think when players can see me on this king again. So bet if they don't think I have ace, ace kings, I don't bet. A really weird action here. Um, yeah, that's that's a bit weird by him. Uh, that's why I say like you don't necessarily want to slow play with queens. Uh, you have two ways to play queens. Three ways. You can check all leads. You can check all check. You can check raise. The reason why I thought about check raising and leading is because in this eventuality of people not bluffing the river or not having bluff on this turn sizing, the check is absolutely, absolutely disastrous compared to the bet. And in cases somehow of balance ranges plus merge in, a check will be better, but it's not like that better, you know? That's why I think it's probably better to lead because if we do some maybe differentials on the eventuality and it will happen at a decent probability, the guy doesn't bluff enough. The bet is absolutely higher because I can value all the sense. And uh, when I bet small, I can even get raised by the region I beat, and it's like Queen Jack, for example. Jack 10, he did small. Um, it's funny, I'm gonna call. I don't think he will bluff that much, actually. I'm gonna jam. I don't think he has a strong end super often right now. And GG if he got me. Maybe he will just want his revenge. No, he probably did. Then 9 here, I'm gonna raise. Uh, the 10 card is actually good for my range. Not really good for my hands. Um, I think overpairs is often going to re-raise at the stack depth, so ace 10 start to be way better in this spot, so I'm going to bet small. I'm gonna bet really small now with my hand, just trying to be pulled by King 10, uh, King Jack, uh, this type of fence, and when he jumps, it's not good for me. I think I need to fall, like he's just not aggressive too much. So yeah, just a fall at this point. Yeah, I had note on this guy because I played him before. Acing against the free bets, I'm going to four bet. Around 18 is fine. This is a call, uh, King 9 4. You can see bet with one third and one quarter is fine. When the cards, the second card is a bit lower, you can use more the 10% pot bets, but now on this card, it doesn't make too much sense to use it at the high frequency, even if you can use it. So, if I king here, I'm going to go for the small bet here. I'm pocket sixes now, just want to check on turn. If there's both guys, check, check. And the deuce come, I'm just going to bet 40 because nobody will call. Um, only plan about these lines is um, sometimes you just see uh, you on call and call, so uh, I play less crazy on the lines. I think so, I'm going to lay calls on the flop, so yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna bet here. I would prefer to check the ends with the ace of spade because I'm block the calls can bluffs. Um, and I want to bet this one. Uh, the main reason is I don't think they will be aggressive enough with the bluffing region, so I prefer to bet. Actually, I don't value too many ends. Because I value, like, I, I don't think he's calling Jackson Queen, so I value King Queen. That's all. <laughs> King Jack, maybe some, some like, 8, 9 seated. So I, I think my end is not good as a value bet, so I will uh, uh, so value bet for all in, so I'll play the 10% pot bet. You can probably size like one quarter or so. Another question is do, are we going to call the jam here? I think they just value too much this line because you need to call close ends and just bluff jacks. And you should know, they have such a good price with jacks and queens. I expect them to be either in the fall or in the call, but not often in the raising line. So GG if he bluffs me and GG also if he jam is king. Uh, this is completely possible. I uh, can make the call. Very show Jack, okay. Not cool. Yeah, unfortunately, as you saw, um, ace, eight, nine here. This is actually, uh, people don't know this, but this is a super often uh, check back here. Just the turn, the two side cards are really bad for you. So depending on the range you put in the solvers, this one is close to good check. 10, nine, I'm going to bit small. Yeah, it's just sick. He bluffed King Jack. Actually, he only has like 10s that can follow the turn. 
and nines in value plus aces. So um, it's actually quite tempting to call because you can find the bluffs. Sure, recognizing I don't have too many bluffs in the Percy region, but my betting region is so strong. I, I don't like queens this like this. So yeah, it's tough. Pocket five is going to bet big on the turn. Uh, pocket five is bet big. He call uh, now on the river. Mm, probably going to give up here. Okay, he bet nine. So I'm gonna fold with five. It's nothing to do. Ace ten suited here. I four bets. Uh, you can play this with. Uh, Alpha and small. Uh, I'm gonna bet small with this 10. Okay, and on the turn. So I block the main floats. So you can bluff me. So again, this A10 is small in the bets. However, you can cut yourself a little bit on this run out. So I'll prefer to use the check here compared to the bets. I think it's better. Check back, interesting. I still block the like ace queen ace jack suit can call check your turn and bluff the reverse. So He's in his main in the bets. I think I'm just going to bet like 11. And if he jam, I'm calling. I like it. He represents too many bluffs. So uh, I think the best size, respectively, is just to bet 5 on 8. Because he has ace king scoop open. He will not fold the small sizing. So I think my sizing was a mistake here. I should, should bet smaller. King 10 here. Just misclick preflop. I don't mind um, limping UTG. It's the only position where limp is fine. When I limp you raise here with King 10, is this a nice mistake? <laughs> no, limping is definitely a strategy. If you play nine max, for example, lower Rex, uh, the, the difference in EV between limping and raise is really close. And GTO ranges doesn't take into account where the fish on the table. And sometimes with a wreck on specific dispositions, it will be way better to limp. So you can call all the time a limp call and you can build the pot bigger like this. For example, if you play live games, UTG in most live, no, I'm mean, just only limping because there's no point about raising. Check that I'm gonna call. Uh, it's not a good sighting on this board. Uh, the five in the four is too connected to low for doing this. There are too many runouts where he's not in a good spot, so super low frequency, but sighting here. Mainly playing small and check. And on the turn now, it feels you just have nothing, so I want to trigger nothing. Because the problem of nothing is I don't think he's bluffing the river. So I'm just gonna bet 1.4 here, trying to get something out of him. And I think Jack Plus will take a bit more time to think about it. And he doesn't have too many Jack Plus. So I like this saving. Yeah, he fall. Well, betting one blind is better. But if you fall against 1.4, I don't think when I check back, he's betting. Like the only way of winning money is just check and wait the small amount of runouts where he basically just eats something and he can call my bets just only what i'm looking for a jack i mean mean called four bets here will be the sizing a jack is really loose but if you see what utg should do and what small one should do in general they will play a bit too passively so um if you see him with these assumptions uh, i think this type of answer should be okay in my merits not like that plus you, you can't raise king 10. Uh, it's still bad even if people play plus you. I think it's Jack's doing a good job. I'm gonna check back here and uh, jam the river. Uh, not on the Jack. Mm, interesting spot here. I actually have to. I need to call. This sucks so much. I lose often here. Yeah, I know. I know, but the... should I listen to me in the first instance? Oh, uh, and he's probably folding kings when I jam. I don't know. Yeah, the only value engine he has is Jacks blocking this, Ace is blocking this. And uh, I think King's preflop would kind of re race, so now he might have too much the just Ace King region that call and wants to block the river. But I think he will not do this sizing. He'll be too scared of Aces, so that's a bad play for me here. 8 7, I check. I should go to bed. Yeah, I should have taken the, the conservative options here with Jack. And just folding is the best. I think he's folding on a jump, yeah. Because in, in these spots, I, I don't think he will see me too much on this game. Mm. Uh, and now with eight seven, oh, I don't care to jump. I don't trip nothing, but they bet the value region before. So the, the, the only maximum ends I have is his queen, but with these timings, it's jolly, I don't think so. I really don't care, we just jump. Hope you like this video. Uh, see you soon for the next one. Bye, guys.